procedure conducted earlier this month in a West Virginia airplane hangar was the latest test of a device that may someday help guard tunnels during disasters, like a terrorist attack or a storm like Hurricane Sandy. The lead researcher on the project is Ever Barbero, a West Virginia professor whose specialty is the use of advanced materials in engineering. Dr. Barbero was contacted in 2006 by a Homeland Security official looking for innovative ways to keep a subway system from flooding. It's not an easy job. I mean, it's not to, to maintain, to operate a, a, a tunnel. It's not a trivial thing. It's a complicated system. There is no space. It's very demanding, the operation. Uh, there is no time. The, the trains are coming all the time. In theory, the idea is simple. Rather than retrofitting subway tunnels with metal floodgates or other expensive structures, the project aims to use a relatively cheap inflatable plug to hold back raging waters. But in practice, developing a plug that is strong, durable, and foolproof is a difficult engineering task. A three-layer plug consists of an inner layer that's basically a bladder that contains the air or the water that's used to inflate the device. And then a second layer, which is uh, just a single layer of, of the super strong Vectran fabric, which provides added puncture resistance and protection to the bladder layer. But then the most critical layer is the outer layer, which is a woven layer made of Vectran fabric. On the day of this test, Dr. Barbero and a colleague inspected the front of the plug and discovered a two-inch gap in one corner. The test called for filling the plug with water to pressurize it further while simulating a flood from behind. But a plumbing failure unrelated to the plug ended the test prematurely. Our time frame on this project, we're looking at, I think, a couple of more years of testing, development, and coming up with, with the, really the final design. This is still a test prototype, so we're not there yet. But these types of tests are, I think, moving us in a positive direction. 